In this video, I'm going to go over a simple muscle setup in Houdini using the Franken muscles. Feel free to download the project file on my Notion site. I'll link this in the description. First, I'm just creating a T pose attribute on the rest so that in the muscle pre roll, we can get some pre roll for the animation. Over here, I'm meshing the skeleton. So we can create the tension lines down here. Over here I'm creating the core mesh. It's going to be used to attach the muscles onto the sim later on. That's just getting point deformed back. I originally got this set up from the tissue solidify node. It's just this part here. That's pretty helpful. Um, on this side, I'm using a curvature mask to get an idea of where to paint the muscle groups, which I did here. And then after that, you can delete to get all our different groups and name them to have individual muscle IDs. So I just name them here. And then we can blast all the muscle shapes and transfer them onto the Franken muscle. After that, I'm just transferring some attributes to delete all the areas where we don't need to sim, like the head and the hands. And also creating an outside group that can be used to pin to the animation in the sim. To create the direction I'm just drawing some curves onto the mesh like this and then inputting that here to get the material W attribute here and then after that it goes into the muscle flex which brings in the tension lines and the animation And then you can link muscles by clicking L and then choosing the correct tension line and then clicking enter. And then that gives us our muscle tension attribute. After that, I'm just setting some multipliers for the constraints later on. So in the tet stretch, I have a muscle stiffness which is multiplying the ab muscles down so they get more jiggle and stuff. Um, vellum attach to attach to the core mesh. I'll come back to the fiber soon. And then vellum pin to pin the outside parts to the animation. Inside the solver, there's a vellum constraint properties, which is what's scaling the muscle fiber group. And this is set back up here. I set up a quick example here on how to use the fiber constraint. So you have to make sure you have your material W attribute. This is just pointing straight up. And then on the tet fiber node, I have the output group set and then in here you can multiply the stiffness and animate that and it scales in the direction of the attribute material W attribute like this so that's what's sort of happening in our muscle sim so if I go back here this part here is pretty much just getting the the point attribute and transferring it to our primitive constraints and then we're multiplying the fiber scale the stiffness by that fiber scale here and I'm also multiplying the rest scale from 1 to 1.5 which just expands the muscle a little bit and then once that's cached we get this
and then down here I'm just point deforming this the original mesh onto our muscle sim I created a this attribute here which lets us blend the head, the hands and the feet back to the original animation and then just transferring the muscle tension back and that is pretty much it um, if you have any questions let me know and download the hip file if you need